So we've moored next to a path that in the daylight looks really aesthetic. Sometimes woody areas at night look a little bit terrifying. This field. It's so peaceful and quiet out here. It's nice. So now that plane's on the way back, it's released the glider and the glider is there, I don't know if you can see it. That's so cool! Amy's about to go live, just answering some of your lovely comments. And for dinner tonight, we have got Brinner. <laughs> Ignore the, the bacon thing. I put it in the oven to keep it warm and it is just completely wow, cremated. Wow, has destroyed the bacon. It's basically a crisp at this point. Thank you. It's a lovely sunny morning. We've had a really nice lie-in, just relaxing, listening to music and just chilling. What we think we're gonna do today is turn around, see off our friends bears aboard, because we probably won't see them from this point onwards for a while, and then go down the Welford Arm, which apparently has good signal and just a bit closer to like shoppy things if we need to. So it should just be a short, casual cruise. It'll be nice. Lots of lovely memories with them. Today is Hunt for More Signal because this stretch of canal is absolutely beautiful, but there's not much signal and Wes needs to work tomorrow. We're on the hunt. We greased the horn, so we have a proper one now. We've had a couple of comments about why we haven't got a horn and we do have a horn. It's installed, it's all wired up. Well, basically it's the wiring in the fuse box which is broken because the old electrician from when the boat was built wired up the fuse box completely wrong so the horn itself works the wiring's okay it's the fuse box side so next time we see our electrician we're getting it done but because it's not urgent we're saving up some more pennies but for now we've got the trusty air horn <laughs> and it's fine okay when we grease it on this stretch we were really excited and really glad but i've missed them i really like them they like break up the cruise you can have a little stretch of your legs off the boat so i've really missed locks so i like locks
What a cute little lock. Single lock gates are so much lighter. They're so nice. Literally never wear your best clothes to do locks. This is my favorite t-shirt. I've just got grease all over it from the lock mechanism, always. Wow, we've come all the way down here for better signal. This took us like two hours. Unfortunately, it's not looking like it's good enough. So this is what keeps happening. We need about 20 downloaders a minimum and 10 uploaders a minimum and it's just not not looking good if this was a saturday it would be fine because we don't have work but it's a sunday and we've got work tomorrow turning around it's such a shame sometimes but we have to work no look down the wealth i think we called it watford earlier for the last just down to the Watford Arm. I stumbled across the junction to the Watford Arm. It's Welford. No look down the Welford Arm, unfortunately. It's such a lovely arm. There's a nice pub at the, the end and facilities. So we're kind of bummed that we couldn't stay, but it's fine. So now we're just trying to find somewhere good enough for, for us to work tomorrow. We're off the arm now. We're back onto the Grand Union. Now we're going to try and find a spot. Ooh with good internet here. And if we still can't, then we'll have to go back to the spot that we started in this morning. <laughs> and we're back in the exact same spot that we were in four hours ago. It was a great use of time and diesel. Sometimes you gamble whether the internet will be better in one spot. Sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. It's the way the waves Roll, baby. I'm leaving that in. <laughs> well, Amy, what a lovely spot we found. I sure hope it's nice. <laughs> Check the internet because for some reason, knowing our look, it's rubbish now. <laughs> Just to demonstrate how fussy the internet can be in some spots, we're having to use old pictures that we took yesterday to figure out exactly where we were because here the internet is terrible, but if we line it up just right, it was actually quite good. So literally a matter of meters. Right, I think I've gone a bit far forward. If I pull it back a little bit. I'm pretty sure the flowers are on the L. That, that should be right. Come on, internet. Hey, there we go. 34 down, 13 up. Thanks to Amy's TikTok, we've managed to figure out the exact position and the orientation of our aerial. So being a vlogger is useful sometimes. <laughs> supposed to have a roast tonight but the plan was to use up the rest of the full English stuff for like a brunch today but instead we spent four hours moving the boat around and then coming back to the exact same spot so we haven't eaten really today other than some biscuits so we're gonna use up the stuff before it goes off and eat it tonight There aren't really any shops at all anywhere nearby us. I'm very out in the middle of nowhere. But if we walk half an hour to a place called North Kilworth, there is a petrol station. And that potentially has some sort of food. And as we're running a little bit low, we're gonna go there and just restock on some basics like bread and whatever they've got just to keep us going until we can do our next shop. It's currently quite nice and sunny. It's been on and off. So hopefully the weather holds out. So good job we did that Tesco order, you know, because mm. we wouldn't have never have been able to survive this long because it's not been a supermarket for ages. We would have been eating a lot of plain rice and yeah. chickpeas. We're still not moving for a few more days, so.
can sometimes be a little bit frustrating or tiring when you're nowhere near anywhere that sells any food but you are always guaranteed a little mini adventure so even though it feels a bit rubbish at the time when you're just like oh i could really do with something and then you can't have it but yeah it's always worth it by the end of it it's rewarding and it feels kind of nice gets you out in nature <laughs> we have left the washing out though it's got to be done at some point Go through a field of cows. Play it cool, Rufus. We've come to a dead end. This village is like TARDIS. You go up one road and then it's like houses but nowhere to go. Loads of little offshoots, but they're all dead ends. <laughs> no like little getting through. We made it! So we walked maybe half an hour and it's so small it's <laughs> the tiniest little garage shop and all there was in terms of things you could make a meal out of it was bags of pasta and that's pretty much it so we're going back now and then we're gonna have to try and maybe get a food delivery to Yelvertoft which is where we're going next and Saturday we've got three days left of meals we'll be all right we'll be it would have right. just been nice to top up a bit would have been nice just having a leisurely walk back. We've noticed a cloud. My washing! It's moving over the boat. Literally over the boat right now. <laughs> it's a heavy looking cloud. This is what the weather did look like five minutes ago. That's what it looks like now. Just walking alongside the canal now. So this is just the path alongside the canal. <laughs> this is the big grey cloud right over the boat. Not bad. Bit over an hour for some bread. <laughs> oh, what's happening? There's a fast hire boat going past us one way. Oh, and there's another one creeping towards us, scraping the arm coat. Brace yourself. <laughs> Brace yourself. Ah. <laughs> The reason they hit is because they both two hires came around the corner so fast, like <laughs> it's horrible because you could just see it coming and there's like there's literally nothing you can do. At least they hit the front fender and they'd managed to slam reverse on enough for things to not fly off the shelves. Oh, <laughs> just immediately sped off, but I think this time it's because they're just trying to flee the scene of the crime. <laughs> no apology. <laughs> just waved. Never a dull day. <laughs> Amy just got up, she was just like, there's two hires trying to pass each other next to us. And then I just saw one disappearing off to the side. For reference, the corner that they came round, they only just missed this boat and the trees stick out a lot. See, it, it's pretty blind. They came tearing round and the only thing they could think to do was just bin it into the bank and slam reverse up. Oh well, no damage caused. And after all that excitement, we decided to sit down, sort through our winter clothes and put them away under the bed. This is a big job and it takes such a long time, but it's worth it for the space. And yes, we know we haven't sorted out the mould yet, but we did pop a couple of dehumidifiers under there and it seems to be keeping it at bay for now. We now have all of our summer clothes out. Oh my God, Wes, be careful. <gasps> Don't do that. It literally it's doesn't look that big on the camera. Trust us. That is my hand. In comparison. <laughs> <laughs> Amy said, is that a drone? Because it's that loud. That's a hornet, isn't it, that? That's got to be. It's absolutely massive. Let's all just stay calm, guys. I've never seen one in real life. Just walk up, you idiot. Please. Leave. Go on, go on. Don't get caught in the cobwebs. <laughs> so big. Yeah, when he moves up, you have to, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so. oh. Rufus, wait. <laughs> he flew off right towards Rufus. 
Ready face. Come in you before you lure it back in. Come in, Come just for five minutes. I literally thought it was a drone. I could hear it and I was like, Wes, is there a drone above us? It was so big, it didn't look that big on the video, but. It was genuinely about that big. That was horrible, I hated that. Spring's here. It's gone, it's fine, we're safe. They can like put people in hospital though, can't they? Cause they're so big. This is one of the downsides to changing jobs when you are living on a boat. The stuff for my new job was sent to our proxy address. And Amy's sister is visiting us today, so she's bringing it with her and we're picking it up. And I've got just about enough time on my lunch break at my current job to go to the car, grab the stuff and come back. It's quite tiring, it's quite far, it's uphill. And I'm also carrying our old TV because then we can be rid of that. And Amy's mum or sister can just sell it on Facebook or something. One of the other downsides is that trying to get people to find where we are is kind of hard, especially when we are just in the middle of nowhere. So she's trying to find a church in a really small village nearby, and then we're walking up to meet her. Pretty big dark clouds above us as well. And for the superstitious viewers, all the cows are sat down. It's a great time to be carrying loads of new electronics. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> so it doesn't weigh that much, it's just bulky. Got the goods. Just gotta walk all the way back to the to the boat now. Amy's gonna help her sister park up and then they're gonna walk all the way back as well. It worked pretty well. Made it. It's uphill quite a lot of the way. And then even on the towpath, it's very uneven and all slanted towards the canal, which has not got the biggest gap between land and water. And given that I'm carting all my new jobs electronics, I try to be very careful. It's four o'clock. Wes has just finished his last shift at his old job. He's been there seven years. How does it feel? I feel quite sad. Yeah. There's a lot of really lovely people there. I'm definitely going to miss a lot. But two weeks holiday now. Next stage of the adventure. Oh, it feels so weird though. You okay? Yeah. Just a bit sad. <laughs> Since we're, you know, don't mind the outfit. <laughs> Since we're, you know, professional vloggers now and all that, we have got some stickers with our YouTube and Instagram on. We bought them from London Decal off of Etsy. Very good, they come with an instruction manual. You can get anything you want, any design. Um, and they were pretty cheap, so we bought them ourselves. And yeah, let's stick them on. As you all have seen when we painted the bathroom, Wes is the resident steady hand. Luckily, Wes is super arty. 
Low pressure. Yeah, look at that. So he's gonna try and do it straight as you can. The only thing is this is slanted, so. This is at an angle and this is at an angle. So I don't know how I'm gonna manage to line it up right. I'm just gonna have to use You're doing it straight, and, yeah. Yeah, and hope for the best. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah? Yeah. Are people gonna be able to see it from the towpath? I mean, it's better than nothing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, it's nice because it's really bright, isn't it? Yeah. I'm glad I went with white. Yeah, it's like nice and high contrast. Should be quite eye-catching. Oh, it's good. I like that. We look prefer. Here we go. If this isn't aligned with the other one, it's going to be really obvious. Easy. Right, is that straight? I think so. Oh, it looks so good. Do you like it? Yeah. Well, that was the easy side. <laughs> the side that's accessible from the land. <laughs> but now we're going to attempt to do it now on the water side and try and line it all up right. And I know it makes way more sense to just wait until we're moored on the opposite side, but I think everyone knows by now that <laughs> we're not very good at finishing jobs unless we finish them there and then. So we're just going to do it now. This might be when one of us falls in. We've encountered a slight problem in that in taking off some of the old owner's names, the vinyl was so stuck on that it's taken the top coat paint off. So we need to touch it up before we put our vinyl on top. To do that, we need to just sand it a little bit. We're just getting the raised bump up. Yeah. Please don't try using power sanders suspended over water while stood on a metal tin can. It's a terrible idea. Ready? No. It's a little bit sad sanding off the, the old owner's names, but that part of this boat's adventure's done and we're very grateful for being able to take it on and make it our own. But it is a little bit sad to sort of take that part of it off. We're looking after her, we're looking after her. Rufus is waiting very patiently for his walk, aren't you Rufus? Being a good boy. I have got a very small urge, although thankfully it's not really feasible, to paint the entire boat now. The temptation is there to do another silly, terribly timed DIY project. We hate doing DIY, but then when we're like starting a job, we're like, shall we just do everything? <laughs> we're very much an all or nothing kind of mentality. One thing we're really glad about is that the previous owners left a lot of tins of the boat paint, so we don't have to worry about trying to match it. This should just work. Is it liquid? It smells solid. Oh. No! <laughs> okay, I take that back. <laughs> Does that mean we've just got loads of pots of just dried paint? I mean, in hindsight, we probably should have checked those tins a long time ago because there's a good chance they haven't been opened in about 11 years. Probably could have seen that come in. I'm just doing Dupes' summer haircut, well, the start of it. I'm just getting the big long bits off because he has really long bits of hair so I just trim them off when it starts to get warmer just to give him a break from his fluff. <laughs> no night then Rufus. No night. It's his favourite thing being tucked in. No night. That night, while I was in bed, we heard the scariest noise we have heard yet, and we shot up. <sighs> Turns out, though, it's just the mating call of a fox, so nothing to worry about. It 
it's saturday we've had a little bit of a chilled morning and it is time to cruise we've not got long to cruise i think only about three hours just gonna enjoy the cruise and look at the sights slight delay we're just about to set off we think when the boat crashed into us it's wedged the chain in the arm cone we can't get it out it's proper stuck so we're trying a genius idea the end off the hook. Oh. Did it work? Yeah, nice. Yay! That was my idea. What can I say? The fridge is looking very, very bare. We are really hoping that there's a shop in Yelvertop. I'm just using the leftover pasta bake from last night and what little salad we have left. We're so productive on the move now. I'm just whipping up some lunch. Oh, where's his shaving his head? <laughs> when you're cruising, you've got time to burn. Ta-da! There you go, Captain. I saw us too. No more clouds, no more rain. I need sun. Here we go. We want to listen to our music. Another, another dash. Three, two, one, go. <coughs> go, go, go. It's not being stared right now. I don't know. It should just be in the cupboard. In the cupboard? Underneath the desk. We're going into the bank. We're going into the bank! You got him? Yeah. Success. All this time you thought we'd never pay the price. In the game of love, you have to roll the dice. My heart got seven years to lie. When you go under some of them are so scary. <laughs> I know, noisy cars, aren't they? Just seen our first electric boat. It went past us the other day and it was so quiet, wasn't it? So nice. Really low profile solar panels all over the roof as well. I wouldn't mind electric propulsion. Yeah, I want one. Narrowboat Amy Jo. They make YouTube videos and they have a live stream from the front of their boat. All this time you thought we'd never pay the price. In the game of love, you have to roll the dice. My heart got seven years. found a water point and some bins annoyingly no elson point on the map it does say there is one here but i can't find it so we've just left the yelvertoft water point but all filled up and i've given the boat a blast so we're just looking for anywhere that we can moor now in front of yelvertoft marina because we need to do the cassettes so we're hoping we don't need to take the boat in because we've done the water now. We might just be able to wheel it if there's a bridge. And then we'll probably stay in that spot until Crick and then we're going to move up early Wednesday to get our spot for Crick. We found a potential spot. Amy's just walking down with Rufus just to see how close we are to the marina. Weirdly, the internet's actually much better here than it was in the previous spot that we had. So worth noting. Got the all clear for Amy. Looks like it will be our spot for the night. Pretty decent. There's a fair bit of tree coverage for solar, but it shouldn't matter too much if we're not here for very long. But it's nice and quiet. It's pretty good views. And yeah, pretty decent internet. 
Thank you so much for watching this episode. We really hope you enjoyed it. And a special thank you to Jay, Annie and Lyra and Lois for the chips this week. We really, really appreciate it. Thanks to Lizzie for your comment. And as always, check out our socials for silly dancing videos and more.